رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى I began my 29th day of fasting in Ramadan and then traveled to a country that same day that was celebrating Eid. What happens to my fast in this case? You continue your fast because you began your fast in a country that Ramadan was still ongoing. So I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm traveling to India. So today is the 29th. I'm fasting. I re which is a Wednesday. I reach India on Wednesday morning, but it is Eid in India. I continue my fasting because I began when it was Ramadan and it's still Ramadan to me. Once the sun sets, that's it. I celebrate my Eid. Of course, because I'm traveling, I can break my fast. But what counts is the time when I started. Let me reverse this. Today is Eid in Saudi Arabia, and I'm going to Morocco. And Morocco, they're still fasting, and their Eid is tomorrow. So today I celebrated Eid with my family. In, at noontime, I traveled to Morocco, and they're still fasting. Should I consider this to be Ramadan for me? The answer is no. I completed fasting 29 days in my hometown. So what counts is the number of days you fasted. Meaning, Saturday, Ramadan starts in Saudi Arabia. I fasted until it was 27 days. And then I traveled to India, which was the last day of Ramadan. So I fasted with them a day. Now I completed 28 days and they celebrated Eid. I have to celebrate Eid with them because I'm in their country now. After the day of Eid is over, I have to make up for a day. Why? Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the month is either this or this. So in Islam, the lunar month is either 29 or 30 days. It can't be less. So if I fasted my own personal days, 28 days, I have one day missing. If I fasted 29 30 or 31 days, then my month is complete. I did not miss a single day of Ramadan unless, wow, come on, you're confusing us. Bear with me. If I fasted in Saudi Arabia 29 days and today is the 30th of Ramadan and I'm fasting, and I traveled from Saudi Arabia on the 30th, my 30th day, to Morocco. And they were celebrating Eid. So I skipped this day, which is the 30th for me of Ramadan, because I'm traveling. I reached Morocco when it's Eid. So I said, Alhamdulillah, I have no day to make up. No, you do. Why? Because the 30th day you were in Saudi Arabia, this is a day of Ramadan for you and you skipped it because of traveling. So you have to make up this day. And if someone said that our community fast 30 days every year of Ramadan, so is this permissible? The answer is no. They're sinful for that. The Prophet ﷺ prohibited fasting the day of doubt. And what is the day of doubt? The day of doubt is the 30th of Sha'ban. 29th finished, we have to observe the newborn moon. If we did not see it, by default, tomorrow is the 30th of Sha'ban. Some people say, I'm going to fast the 30th of Sha'ban. Why? Said so just to be safe. It can be the first of Ramadan. This is sinful. You cannot disobey the Prophet ﷺ by your own whims and desires. You cannot be more Roman than the Romans. Are you more careful than the Prophet ﷺ? You have to fast when you see the moon and you have to end your fast when you see the moon. To have it fixed 30 days every single year, this is totally unacceptable and an innovation. So I hope this, Yanni, did not confuse you. If it is, see it again, inshallah, and it should be uh, helpful. <laughs>